Ladies and gentlemen, Saviero's reviews here tonight. Um, one that I've been wanting to do for a while, and we do have a little bit of a story about this one. Um, we're going to be looking at the E-Leaf Ice Smoker um, Magoo and Magoo S. Um, what I'll do first is I'll show you the packaging, um, tell you how I've received it, um, and then we'll, we'll follow through with the story. Okay, so... Um, I'm going to be showing you, we'll do it this way here, the Ice Smoker, as well as the E-Leaf Magoos. Okay, now the story goes a little bit like this. Um, and this one's also a shout out as well. Uh, I thank Angelia at Earleaf um, for sending this one for me, sorry, uh, for review. Um, now, the reason why I asked for the Magoo S is because um, I had originally purchased a Earleaf Magoo about three months after I started vaping. So, I would say going on nine months, nine months ago. Um, even before I was reviewing, I decided to review, um, I went, up, went ahead and I bought um, the Ice Maker Magoo from um, Panda, pandaesigs.com. Um, in that time, it did come built. <coughs> right, so this one does is built at the moment. Uh, this did come built, um, and it was enjoyable uh, for the time that I was using it, however, at that stage I was new to vaping. Um, a friend had suggested that I buy this head because it was a good head, um, so I went ahead and it had cost me fifty dollars plus another twenty five for shipping, so seventy five all up. Um, that was American dollars, so we can convert that to about eighty five, ninety Australian dollars. Um, at the time, I was still on Ego batteries, um, so using this on an Ego battery was probably not the greatest thing anyone could um, advise of doing. Um, but after some time, and when the coil decided to burn out, I hadn't had any batteries or anything to be able to run this and, and use it at its full potential. So what happened was is I ended up putting it away um, coil was burned, there was no point in doing it. Uh, I didn't know how to rebuild it. Um, it is hard and we'll, we'll have a look uh, briefly um, on on the inside of it as well. Um, but I mean, it's a great it's a great little head, don't get me wrong, it's a great little head. Um, I'm smoking the Limo tonight, um, which we do have another review coming for, but um, we'll switch it over. We'll switch it over. Um, and we'll start using the Magoo since we've got it out now. So that that was the story on that one. Um, I went and purchased it. cost me 90 Australian dollars to get it here. Um, finally, uh, I mean, the reason why I wanted to purchase it, other than the fact that my friend suggested it, um, was the fact that it was one of the first adjustable airflow heads, um, automizers that came out. And it also was one of the first, if not the first, um, one that had adjustable airflow. Air, sorry, adjustable um, liquid flow. Uh, so you can adjust the amount of liquid that goes to your uh, silica wicks here. And silica is the only um, uh, filament that's able to be used in the Magoo. Um, it is single and dual coil build. Uh, I'm just on my DNA. Just on my DNA 30 at the moment. Um, we're on 1.9, um, which was a factory, and I'll let you know a few more details about um, what Angelia had sent me. So um, I did get uh, the gold one for free um, as um, uh, for review, and I decided that that was a perfect opportunity for me to, to do them together. Um, the gold one is a little bit different to the original, and that's evident by the air slots. You can see that one there. And there is, as we can see, only one, which I probably would have liked to have seen more. So I will go ahead and drill that out. Um, but for the purpose of the review, I wanted to show it to you in one piece uh, how it was. We'll go through more on this one in a moment as well. Um, I'll show you the airflow 
on the Mugu, the uh, just the standard dice maker Mugu. So that's um, one, and that's two, and uh, we can take this base part off here. I'll just remove this airflow ring. Okay, so I mean the, the air holes are nice and big uh, on this one, but the downfall on it um, is you're unable to use the whole the whole air airflow. You have to shut it off a little bit. Um, I would have I like big airflow, so for me um, a bigger airflow. I need to drill these holes out again. Um, I've only just got this started working again after nine months of having it. Um, it's been stored away for most of its time, but I'm glad I do have it back because I will be using it. Um, I'll show you some of the features in it that, that to me, why I'd like to use it or continue to do so. Um, that's the only real main difference between the Silver Edition and the Gold Edition, um, just the airflows really. Um, this one here came in a single coil, uh, and I accidentally burnt the coil prior to um, actually being able to fill it up with any juice at all. So the um, the Magoo is it's there's a lot of parts to it, and we'll count with that, um, and we'll we'll take it um, take it apart from bottom to top. So again, we'll start off with the airflow. So we'll close it off first. Uh, reverse threading comes off nicely. Um, beautiful threading on these ones. Uh, like I said in, in most of the leaf um, reviews, they do have nice threading, and uh, you know it is made in the same factory as Joytech, and so any anything that Joytech will be compatible with uh, with e leaf. Um, I will show you how to fill it up and all that thing. So we're all good from there. Okay. After the base, we have the actual tank itself that's removed. Um, and this is made and this might have made of Pyrex glass. Uh, from that moment, we have the liquid control, and this is also the mouthpiece. The drip tip is it's all one piece. This is the drip tip here as the, the part I'm removing. Okay, your juice, your well, your chimney. So, so on. that's the uh, third piece. Oh, you do have a fourth. This is at the top of the uh, the base here. This little this does come off, and this is where you actually fill it from. So we'll show you on the reverse how to get that one done. Um, this is the build that I try to build. Um, it's not working for me at the moment. The Magoo is very hard. You do need to now need to be able to nail it. It is a uh, an advanced type of head. Um, I still find it difficult to build. To be honest, I haven't I haven't come to a successful build on a Magoo just yet. Um, I will give you some more information on that in just a moment. This here is the build deck. So it does contain um, silica, silica, silica wick. Um, there is two slots. Uh, them so you can see them. Uh, so those two slots there that uh, you can see, those deep channels, they are ceramic. Um, that is the positive side. Um, that does connect to this, just beneath this little ring here in there. That's the positive, and the negative goes underneath this little black screw here, it just unscrews there, you wrap your wire around, you screw it back up, and the negative pose, the negative uh, a part of the metal build here, um, the stainless steel build there, so that's, uh, that's a part of the, uh, that particular part of the Magoo, the other side like I said is ceramic, the build deck on top is ceramic, I'll take off this I'll take off that uh, coil as well so you can see inside. And that there just continues on through to this 510 connector. And this is where your 510 is. And that spring 
I believe it's spring loaded. Ah, oh, that's spring loaded in there, so yeah, that's just nice. Just hangs off the um, the magoo. Okay, so there is another part of this that does come off. For the purpose of this review, though, I will not take it apart. We will, however, put it back together. Um, so I have the base and the chain and the uh, the coil deck decking. So that goes in. And you usually do that in just until it's finger tight. After that goes on the um, the mouthpiece slash control liquid control. That goes on top of the build deck, like so. We'll close it up completely. Next from there, you have your tank, you place your tank over the chimney, like so, uh, your base, and then Airflow again. Actually, yeah, airflow not too generous. Probably around two and a half mil. There's the spring bud connector. No serial numbers. And this is where you would fill You would stick your. You'd stick your needle or your dripper tip through where that where the screwdriver where the screwdriver is right now. So not over here in between the mouthpiece and this part. Um, you fill it in there, and then this little screw would go on top. Now I did have uh, previously I did have leaking issues when I used to fill this. Um, I was told to do it nice and slowly, so one maybe one twist at a time so the air could all uh, escape from the, the from the section here. Um, and you need to have your air your airflow closed off as well when you did that. Now again I'm gonna show you this is the build that came with the original one that I had purchased from Panda. Okay, this is the original build deck. This is the original build deck here. Okay, this sits inside the base of the Magoo. You screw it in like so. Um, you can see here these little slots. This tool. Um, they uh, that's where the the juice rolls into, um, and that's where it wicks up your your wick there. The design is very different. Um, Probably one of the first, oh, maybe not one of the first rebuildable automizers. I mean, one of the first that I'd known about um, that were this good in terms of, uh, you know, it was one of the first with the airflow control. It had the um, um, the channel, the the juice flow, so you could control how much juice was going to your wigs. Um, it is very very hard to build on, ladies and gentlemen. Very hard probably the hardest I've ever come across um, and I'm a I'm really I really suck at, at fucking uh, at vertical builds um, I'm fucking hopeless at them um, but I mean the Magoo is so fucking hard um, I love it don't get me wrong it is a beautiful head with real ab 
real flavour, like real nice flavour, real crisp. Um, I guess that that's you know, it, it's made with quality. When you have bits of your automizer with ceramic, you know that um, you know that that's a good head. You know you got a good head. And for the money, it's it's not really. I mean, it was expensive then, um, but to be able to have it here shipped to Australia for fifty dollars through me, I mean, that's that's much much more better price than paying the ninety dollars. That's for sure. Um, if it was at ninety dollars, I probably wouldn't suggest buying it um, because you do have things like K funds out there. Um, but for advanced users with um, who, who like to have airflow control as well as chen uh, juice control, I keep calling it channel control, juice control, um, and you like advanced difficult builds and you know having fun with building difficult builds, and the Magoo is definitely the one for you. Having said that, um, I still love this thing. Flavor is amazing. <coughs> Flavor is absolutely amazing. So here we've got the, as you might be able to see inside there. I'll be able to see my juice flow there. Close. So that's it, all the way closed. And you can even sit back and, you know, uh, considering that obviously you've allowed your, your wicks to, um, or your, your filament to wick up nicely, you can close that juice channel off so you don't, you know, waste the juice or potentially have a leak of some sort and you can use it as sort of sort of like a dripper so to speak without the need to actually drip and then to drip again you obviously just open your flow obviously you take a few primer puffs if you're using it as a type of dripper Now, the next thing I was going to talk about with the um, Magoos, um, I was sent a dual coil, um, part now. now whatever this part is, the deck, <laughs> whatever this part is, the deck, um, the deck here, uh, I received a spare one from uh, from Angelia at um, at e -Leaf, and without looking at it too much, I put it straight into the Silver Magoo. Um, it was the first one I bought. I haven't used it so long. I knew that it was uh, as simple as, and I'll show you, the piece came, and they call it the Dual Coil Magoo. I have to get the name of this one. Just give me who runs there. I've forgotten the name. Oh, no. Uh, the name of it, the Automizer Head, that's what they call it. Um, so the one that uh, that they've pro provided me is the Magoo B-Type Automizer Head. Um, there's an A-Type, uh, which one do I have? I'm not sure which one I have. There's, there's a Magoo S A-Type and a Magoo C A-Type. I'm guessing they're different. Um... And a Magoo C B type. There's an A and B type for for both of them. So for this for the B, the S and the C. Um, so this would be the Magoo C, and um, this is the Magoo S. The I I mean sorry without looking at the um, the automizer head too much, which did look just a little bit a little bit similar to this. Um, there was a little bit of differences, um, which, I mean, it, that that's what caught my eye at first. It was like, oh, wow, that's a bit different to what I have. But I just stuck it straight in without looking at it, and I haven't yet finished my tank of juice, so and I'm quite enjoying it. So I didn't want to throw out my 
current tank just to open it up um, even though I probably should have to show you um, now I'm in a dilemma no it's okay I'm not going to show you this no I'm not going to show you I'm not going to show you but I would definitely recommend if you're going to get the Magoo I would suggest you getting um, that B type head was it um, the B type head for the Magoo S and the Magoo C uh, I'm guessing they'd be the same um, I mean because the internals are the same I, I don't think they would switch much of the internals um, on a different version of the same head so that's that um, they've been really friendly there at E-Leaf. Um, you know, guys, yes, I did receive the gold one for review. Uh, uh, I did receive the, the gold one for free. Um, the only reason I asked for it was because the fact that I had already purchased this one um, so long ago, and I did want to actually know what the difference was between them. Um, there isn't much of a difference. Um, you know, I, I did understand that it was still going to be uh, the same quality, like the same build decking, um, and I knew it was going to be hard. Um, I was hoping that with this uh, B-type automizer head that I have in there, that um, that it's going to be a bit easier. I will get to it. I was just enjoying the Magoo so much that I didn't want to stop using it. Pumps out the vapor production. I mean, you can control, you know, how much liquid goes to your coils. So if you can control that aspect of your head, then you're controlling how much vapor you're actually intaking. It's not a dripper <laughs> in terms of the cloud production that you get, um, but I mean, it's certainly for an automizer. It's Fantastic um, flavors up there. Uh, is it better than the K Fun? It's up to personal personal preference. Um, I've only had a K Fun clone. I never fucking liked the thing. Um, it was always a piece of shit to me. It was always leaking and everything. Um, not to say yours don't. Oh, yours do. So not to say yours do. Um, K Funs are, are really nice. Don't get me wrong. Um, I have used real ones and ones that work um, and you know in terms of that that's that's spot on um, for me I do like products that are more unknown that are good um, I like to be someone who says yeah I have this you know it may not be your K fun but it's my Magoo and um, that's what I'm happy with and I would definitely suggest it to people who are advanced who like to who find who are finding that maybe they want a little bit more of a challenge in terms of their heads? That would be a def a great way to look at a magoo. Um, yeah, it's nice. I like it, and I'm 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 super happy and super super happy, super super happy, super super happy, super super glad that um, Angelia has sent me on this gold one because this is a nice one to add to my collection and uh, I mean it's going to be sitting nicely side by side with um, its twin brother um, fantastic bit of equipment these these two um, I really do enjoy them um, positives uh, airflow control um, juice control um, I like that they come in this gold um, It's different. I like the fact that it's different. Um, the flavour on it, the flavour's great. Single and dual coil mode. Price is fantastic for an original. The things I don't like about the Magoo. Um, on the gold version, I could, I would have loved, I would have loved to have seen. 
I would have absolutely loved to have seen. Uh, I would have loved to have seen that air hole on that side as well. That would have been. I would have been immaculate. This has only been used a couple of times. Um, <laughs> it was burnt from the first time I used it. Um, so I only took two, three more um, vapes from it and decided, nah, I think this is better off to um, put away in uh, in the collection box because um, I don't want to get this one scratched. This is a nice, this is a nice, nice looking head. Uh, I mean, if you can, it's a beautiful looking head. It's a, it's a beautiful looking head, guys. I love the packaging. Nice packaging. Um, e Leaf always have good packaging. Nice boxes. Um, okay, cons. We're going back to the cons. Um, yeah, so apart from in the gold one, seeing that airflow, um, the build, the deck, it is out of control. The decking on this is out of control out of control. I mean, it was very well thought of. Um, I mean, this is this is innovative and uh, I, nothing has still been done anything like the Magoo. Um, or maybe it has and I haven't come across it. Um, so the build deck, even though it's different, it is so hard to get your head around. Um, I mean, that can be a plus as well. You know, it's it's challenging, so it's a good thing because it keeps you entertained and <laughs> for more hobbyist jobs with vaping. You know, not that we have enough. Um, what else don't I like about the Magoo? Um, no, I'm, I'm not too fussed about the drip tip, guys. I know you might have a little bit of an issue with the drip tip. I don't have any fuss about the drip tip at all. Um, I like the fact that it's air. It's you know controls air. So um, if we have to sacrifice um, the drip tip to get some juice into my wicks, um, then yeah, I, I'm definitely for it. Um, you know, I can use other heads like with that, uh, and we we put it up against the Limo, um, which is um, Ely's other automizer. A little bit similar to the K fund that uh, P Passado has just recently beaten me to review, even though I've had this for a few months now, um, probably a good month and a bit. Um, there's another story, but we'll go ahead and I'll tell you that story when I'm reviewing this one. It's um, the Magoo's is a lot different to the Limo um, in terms of you know, the decking and uh, you know, the way it's supposed to perform. Um, I do think that. Um, that Ely's definitely went all out on that one, and they did a good job with it because it's hard to to do something new that you know hasn't been done before. And even though this has been out for a good year, um, it is you know it's still something that we haven't we don't see much in in new heads. So uh, that's a that's a plus for that. Overall, I wouldn't suggest this head for um for beginners, people just starting to vape, or even people just starting to get into rebuildables. This would be more for uh, an advanced type user. I mean, shit, I'm still I'm still having difficulties building it, um, and it is a bit of a pain to to build. I'm not gonna lie, it is a little bit of a pain to build. Um, done a summary, yeah. I wouldn't suggest it to new newies, but I would suggest it to advanced users or or people who do do love their flavors in in tanks. And it looks like a boss. It looks like a buzz, let's be honest. Um, 50 Australian shipped, nice, fantastic. Really good price. Thank you, E Leaf, again, um, for providing me um, the gold one. Um, even though I am reviewing um, them both, it was more based around the silver one here, which is the one I did purchase, guys. Don't forget that. Um, I'm not saying it because I got it for free. Um, I mean, everything in here is, is my honest opinion. I told you, if you're new, don't buy it. Um, you're not going to have a good time with it, and it will probably sit away like it did with me for nine months. Now that I do have it up and running, uh, thank fuck, because you know, I, I like this head. I really do. 
Um, so thanks, Eileen, again. I look forward to uh, to working with Angelia. Thank you, Angelia, for sending me the product, um, for the for the gold. Um, thank you for the in initiative, in you know going out and doing something new with automizers. Um, a year ago or a year and a half, whenever it was, I'm pretty sure it was maybe even just under a year ago that it came out. Um, yeah, great head guys. That's uh, that's it for me. It's 12:30 a.m. here in Australia. Um, I'm off to sleep. I'm a little bit tired. Got things to do tomorrow. Um, I hope you have a good night. I know I sure will. Take care, guys. Good night.